Hello everybody and welcome to another GE Tracker tutorial. Today I'm going to be going over how to set alerts for your items. So what that means is you can be alerted on your phone via email or SMS text when your buy offer is completed, when your sell offer is completed, or when an item has reached a profitable margin. On top of that we're going to have a quick look at the pricing graphs and how they determine um, what gets plotted as a buy and sell offer, at least to the best of my knowledge. And uh, yeah, let's jump into it. All right, so to start off, let's go have a look at how to set price alerts. Now it's really easy. We're just gonna load up an item here. Uh, now I find it's easiest to work with slower items. Uh, so right now we have the evil chicken wings open. I never flipped this item before, uh, but it's very rarely traded every day. Uh, per day, probably only 10 or something, yeah. Uh, so this will give us an easy to understand graph here. So we have the buy offer down here at 550 and the sell off price here at 738. Uh, now on top of those two data points, you can also set alerts on the current price, uh, which to my understanding is a price based off the selling volume and buying volume, as well as the prices. Wouldn't recommend using that one as much because it's not gonna give you the exact uh, prices as of the most recent data. So all you do to set an alert is you're gonna come down here, go past the amount traded, and go to the price alerts. So you can see here we can set it based on current price, offer price, uh, the sell margin, and the profit margin. Or the sell price and the profit margin, sorry. Uh, so the ones we're mostly gonna be using here are the sell price and the offer price when we wanna be alerted when our items have completed. And you might use the profit margin uh, alert to set an alert in advance so maybe you want to flip an item but you want to wait till it's profitable so you set an alert for let's say we want to wait till this is 250,000 in approximate profit uh, just an idea I uh, haven't really tried that one too much all right so now for the evil chicken wing so say we want to set an alert for when we've bought an item so what you're gonna do is first to go into your runescape client and set an offer so let's just hypothetically say we set an offer for um, two or 580k uh, so all you do is go down to the price alert section. Since we're going to be mainly looking at the buy uh, price alert right now. All right, so we're going to come down here to the price alert section. We're going to simply go to the offer price, uh, which is the blue bar here. And uh, we're going to put a, a uh, compare. We want it to be a above. And uh, we want it to be above uh, 580. We want it to be 580 because that will be our offer. Uh, for our purposes, we'll put it in for above 579k. Uh, and we can get an alert via SMS or email. Looks like I can't right now uh, because it's not available in my country. But for a lot of you, I think that will work perfectly fine. But email always works easily for me. It's going to pop up on my phone anyway. Uh, so we'll go ahead and set the alert. So when the offer price here is above 579, it'll send an alert to my phone uh, stating that the price is above that point. Now this is the most accurate way to do it. It's not going to be 100% accurate of course because this information is on a half an hour delay. Uh, but say you're out at work or just hanging out at home and uh, you get the alert, definitely worth going ahead and having a look because more than likely the offer is completed. And now if we want to sell the item, uh, say we are going to sell it for uh, 720k. Uh, you're going to come down here and take the sell point as the data point now. So sell price, and we're gonna go below, and then we're going to put uh, 700 and uh, 21K or something like that. Oh wait, zero, 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 zero. And via email. So now we've set two price alerts. Uh, the reason we can't uh, set it to be above a certain price is because if we said, say, when the price is above uh, 719 or when it's above 720 uh, you will, the email will automatically be sent because technically the price is above uh, 719 or 720 uh, same thing for the sell price uh, you have to you be a little smart with it because otherwise uh, it will automatically complete your price alert and if you come over here to the account settings page and under price alert you can see all your active uh, price alerts here so when evil chicken wings uh, when the sell price is below 721 and when the offer price is above 579, we will get an alert 
I also have one for the Ring of Nature in here as well. Uh, so another way you can do this is with higher volume items. So let's say with the Zolra scale, I uh, decided to use the money making method in one of my other videos. Uh, but you need the sell price, or the buy price honestly for that matter, of the Zolra scales to be at least 135. Uh, so for this one, say you have the Zolra scales and you're selling it, it's going to be the same thing. I would recommend just selling the buy and sell offer above uh, 134 or something like that. Because uh, for high volume items, there's constantly going to be buy and sell offers. Uh, so the uh, buy and sell price will be kind of interchangeable. So let's say uh, we want it to be 135. All we do is say when it's above uh, 134, which means as soon as it hits 135, and uh, it'll get you an alert. So I would do that for both the offer and the sell price in this case, just because how oftentimes the price will fluctuate back and forth. Uh, it'll definitely complete on both of those. So another useful application of the price alerts is the profit margin alert. Now this is going to be used before you buy an item generally. Uh, so let's say the ring of nature, this is something I've been flipping a couple times recently, uh, currently has a negative profit margin. Uh, but that's just the way the pricing graph generates the offers. And we'll get into that in just one second here. Uh, but yeah, so say you want to set an alert for when this item is 500k in profit. It's really easy. Just come down here, go to profit margin, and uh, we want it to be above, let's just say above 400,000. And we'll get another email. And this time we'll get emailed once the actual profit margin here, uh, this tab here, approximate profit, is above 400,000. Right now it's at negative 400,000. And the way this uh, approximate profit is calculated is it takes the last uh, offer price, takes off the last uh, sell price, and gets you an approximate profit. So now the last thing I want to touch on, and the thing I am a little less sure about, is how the sell offers and buy offers are plotted onto the graph, because that's kind of important for setting accurate alerts. Okay, so this is how I think the buy and sell offers are plotted on the graph. So, say someone comes along and puts an offer in uh, for Anku Gloves. They put it in for 6551. So they have a standing offer. If someone comes ahead and sells the item, say they sell it for, just pop it in uh, for 5 mil, just to instantly sell it, it completes. That is going to get logged as a buy offer. Now on the other side of things, if someone has an item selling for uh, 7023, Someone comes in and puts a buy offer in instantly for 8 mil and then instantly completes. That is going to be logged as a sell offer. Now, I definitely challenge anyone from the G Tracker staff to prove me wrong because uh, this is something I've been a little unsure about for a little while, but clarifying this up would definitely help with setting accurate alerts. All right, guys, that about wraps us up. Uh, before I go, I'd like to pose the same question to you guys actually. Uh, how do you think the G Tracker? Uh, pricing graph actually generates its data because some of it's logged as buy offers and some of it's logged as sell offers. Uh, what is causing the difference there? Uh, always kind of been interested. Plus, I think it'd be pretty useful to know uh, for the future. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one.